there's a piece of us in every one of these springs. I treasure these springs and I want to do the best job I can to protect them. Florida has the largest concentration of springs in the entire world. People have been enjoying springs, you know, since there's been people around in Florida. a couple of days, really, after a real heavy storm to be able to see the water level start to drop in this sink. Mm -hmm. It's about the clearest I've seen the water here. I have one of the best jobs in the world. I enjoy it because I'm out in the field. Uh, I interact with the community, I interact with the public, and as a Springs team and as a Springs team lead, uh, it's the best job in the world. I'm Dr. Chris Anastasio, Chief Scientist and Springs team lead for the Southwest Florida Water Management District. You got something now. The Springs team is a diverse group of professional scientists and engineers. Yeah, there we go. And we are dedicated to improving water quality and habitat value of our springs throughout West Central Florida. Each team member brings a specific skill set and expertise that's vital to our mission. All right, so this is Transect WW3. I'm Dr. Mary Safranek, an aquatic ecologist. My role on the team is to focus on nutrients and other factors and how they affect biological communities and spring ecosystems. And your depth reading would be, and I also help design treatment wetland projects to help remove excess nutrients from the spring sheds. Substrate type would be sand with shell material mixed in. I'm Dr. Sean King. I'm an engineer and an ecologist. My role on the Springs team is to develop and manage Springs restoration projects and work with the public to establish community-led Springs cleanups. My name is Ron Basso. I'm a senior groundwater geologist with 30 years of experience. My role on the Springs team is to assess the geology of the region and evaluate how groundwater withdrawals affect spring flow. This is the, the sand in the bottom of the sink that the, the water actually drains through and slowly filters as it goes into the aquifer. The spring is basically a window into the aquifer and that is the same supply of water that we rely on for, for all uses here in the district. I'm Dave DeWitt, I'm a senior professional geologist and my role on the Springs team is to evaluate and assess geology and hydrogeology in our spring sheds. I also collect and analyze water quality data from the springs here. We take the pulse of these systems in order to assess the health of our springs. Uh, we collect information such as water level data from many of our wells that we have throughout the district, throughout the springs area. We collect water samples and sediment samples in places like sinks as well as in springs and in their rivers and even in the offshore areas. We map vegetation. There are a variety of impacts that occur on the springs concerning water quality, rising sea level, uh, rainfall droughts, and uh, groundwater withdrawals. And we need to make sure that we're doing the best job that we can to protect these systems for the future. Our focus is to go in there and actually restore the springs within the system itself and then also do spring shed restoration where we remove those nutrients from the spring shed. So basically this used to all be hydric. Yeah. It's definitely a privilege to work with springs and, yeah, and to be on the springs site. team where you know, working with so many great people and, and also working with the, the local community and other government agencies. There's a real feeling like you're part of something. The springs team is comprised of a small group of very dedicated and driven individuals, and the district can't do it alone. It's a community effort, and it involves all our partners working towards a single goal, which is to restore our springs. Well, I really have a sense of pride in uh, doing the work that we do here at the district. It's, it's really important that someone is looking at the, the water quality conditions here, and there's uh, a lot of people that rely on the work that we do here at the district. To learn more about our team and to join us in the community effort to restore our springs, visit watermatters.org slash springs.